Hello Carnegie Trust, um, thank you for giving me this opportunity and a great idea for me to actually film uh, my reflections of on the last year or so. Um, uh, maybe I should have had that idea. Um, uh, it, yeah, we've been very pleased with our year, um, around 2,900 stories published over the last 15, 16, 16 months. Um, we had a good, had a good feed, uh, debrief with, with Will and Sarah about a lot, a lot of the, the issues and um, what we've learned, uh, basically learned running a second online newspaper. Um, and one of the things was like, we have made, what, 320 filmed items, uh, which is not bad. Uh, it's not as many as I'd like to, but one of the things we've learned is it is a bit like going back to 2008 with your thorough, because in, in, you have to establish some sort of trust with people that suddenly just suddenly turn up as, oh, I'm a local online newspaper that films its news, etc. Um, you know, whereas I had, a, I had a, a number of years run up in Thurrock because people already knew me from previous news organisations. Um, I've suddenly come fresh. However, people in Harlow have been very, very welcome and receptive, you know, so it hasn't been um, that much of a problem. But um, I guess it is, as I said, a bit like documentary filmmakers. They don't just come in, you know, they, they take a little bit of time to uh, get to know people. And so, um, but it helps that I'm a, you know, a local boy, uh, and people understand my agenda and they're very welcoming. And the reason they understand my and welcome my agenda or welcome us, I think, is because of why we started this as part of Neighbourhood News. In that people did respond to a town of 80,000 people and the idea of just have one newspaper left producing 30 to 40 stories a week. And, and, and we have said during the year that we can simply add to that. It's not competing with that, it's adding to that. And whatever we can do uh, adds to that. Um, that discourse, you know, so, so uh, and, and that's good. And there's little things, that are not so much about us, I guess, that the one paper, the Harlow Star, you know, people have said, you know, they hadn't seen them at council meetings and cabinet meetings and planning meetings um, for a long time, and, and they've sort of come back, um, which may not, they may be missing the point, it should be there anyway, but at least they've come back because we're there now. And so that's been good, because, you know, talk about the democratic deficit, well, Better, you know, it's been a terrible that a town of, you know, 80,000 people doesn't have any press at these these key meetings. You know, where we, we go back to Thurrock and, you know, there's the Thurrock Gazette, the Thurrock Inquirer and your Thurrock there. Um, so that's been Sometimes good. Sometimes in just delivering, um, delivering information to people uh, as, uh, what do I mean by that? Um, it's a simple business really, you know, and, uh, and in that... Uh, Tuesday night. Tuesday night, uh, my wife came into the office, which is, which is here as you see, and said, I think something's happened in such a manner. Maybe somebody's drawn a gun against somebody. So I just got into the car, drove two miles, uh, went to the panning show. You can see the film, you know, it's a staple tie incident, gun incident. Um, did a little panning shot, then went into the off license, which I believe was the lo location of the scene of the alleged crime, and I said, Why well, are the police here? And people said the reason the police are here, and they chatted away and put the story up and put the story up and had about six thousand page views between nine pm and twelve pm on that Tuesday night and again that wasn't covered anywhere else till twelve hours later and it's just you know I don't want to be covering crimes all the time I know it's popular I know no crime no politics no paper um, but I think it's the example of what we do film up etc and and to let people know what's going on. Um, well, wouldn't you, if you thought there was somebody with, I guess, with a, you know, a gun, um, wandering around the streets of your town? You know, you'd like to know what's going on. Um, uh, so, so that was, I guess, a, a living, breathing example, and uh, of what we do. Um, and I guess with the filming aspect, uh, you know, it's the key to keep filming uh, adds to the flavour. Um, every time I get a film with one view, I'm sort of reminded of of, of people who say, "Well, that's more than." local TV stations, some local TV station programs are getting. It's not really the bar of what I've set, but um, I get their point. Um, uh, so it's good, it's things like Ed Miliband was in Harlow on Tuesday, so there's a filmed, filmed, you know, a record, even though the big boys come into that, you know, as a local paper, there we are, here's a filmed event uh, of Ed Miliband asking questions um, uh, about uh, the next six months. Uh, so we'll see how the next six months uh, get on with that. Key. Um, assets to what we do is the same as what um, has happened in your thorough is the ability to attract bloggers to give people a voice uh, which just normal mainstream papers just don't really 
do. They might have columnists and contributors, but often they have to be people who have built up what they would say some form of status, you know, it's, you know and, until they do that. Whereas again, we've developed people very quickly um, who, s who send their blog pieces, and, and we're very, very pleased with that. And of course, the key bit, apart from the bloggers, is with um, uh, University Centre Harlow, with the ends, you know, the journalism college have been going now 50 years. You know, we, we've been able to give key work experience uh, to to students, and that, and that's been great. And um, and sometimes, you know, and that, as you said, that experience not just writing stuff and writing to deadline, uh, but it's also being getting a feel of an event. Again, going back to um, Ed Miliband, you know, that getting a, a feel of the event, all that goes on all the waiting around sometimes uh, and that, that's been good for the students you know which again they, they felt and there's a dearth of work experience going on you know these days and so at least we can um, we can provide that um, I think um, I think when I'm, I'm having one of my more pretentious moments and you know they're only in between every other breath um, I've, I always saw what I did as less as just as journalism more as some sort of mass observation index, some social document, etc., and a living, breathing history project. I think, you know, really newspapers, I guess, are that and what I do. That's what I, what I do. Um, and I think uh, what's really pleasing is the next project that we're moving on to, hopefully, is, um, is a project called um, Why I Came Here, um, you know, for Harlow, um, a new town, 1947, and to interview people on film um, and say, why did you come here? Um, what were the early days like, etc., etc. And uh, because again, one of our points was about local history. Is there's lots of um, there's lots of pictures of um, building. There's lots of black and white pictures or pictures of sculpture, appreciation of sculpture. It's certainly in Harlow, which is known as sculpture town. Um, but where's the where's the interviews? The people who built the damn place nowhere and again when you do see oh somebody says I, did, I interviewed somebody in 1987 you say where is it oh it's in a vault <laughs> you know so really if we do get that project off the ground and we're, we're looking to you know uh looking to get funding for that um that's that's our next obvious obvious step and i like to see like to think that in um a year's time you know i may drop you an email and say hi hey, by the way you know the last um we've now made 200 filmed items on why I came here with people uh, um, all across Harlow, you know, and um, that kind of thing will be a legacy of neighbourhood news, um, and so we're, we're very grateful for that. Very I think it's I think we're grateful because it's been a very interesting time to to start a set a, a, an online newspaper with film in Harlow. Um, you know, there's Harlow really sort of there's a three Harlows we're seeing. What have we learnt? There was a Harlow in 1847. Uh, and this was the countryside. 1947, they start to build a new town. And one of the questions about this place is, what will it be like in 2047? Because you can really feel a second build, as if, you know, lots of planning applications, you know, the, the corridor between, the 10-mile corridor between here and Stansted Airport, and you feel that there may be some sort of Harlow Garden City might be being built. And we've come in here at 2014, um, or in 2013, and probably come at a really important time. And I guess uh, it's important, in many words, to keep filming as much as possible because these are key times when things are changing. So, as as is, is occurring in in Thurrock, and our 5,000 films in Thurrock reflect that. And so, um, and so we're um, we're very pleased with that. We're very pleased about the way the year's gone. We've got a long way to go. Um, yes, I'm you know stretching myself across to. Um, uh, two sites, uh, which is challenging, but it's uh, also rewarding. We're very, very pleased and happy that uh, Carnegie uh, placed their faith in us. Thank you very much.